In the golden glow of the morning, Sam the Serval leaped through the tall grass. He was playing hide and seek with his shadow. As he pounced, he learned about the importance of sunlight and how it helps the grass grow and feeds the circle of life. Bella the baby elephant was learning to use her trunk to drink water. She splashed and sprayed, giggling with every splash. Today, Bella discovered that water is precious and animals must share it wisely. Gary the giraffe stretched his long neck to reach the tastiest leaves at the top of the tree. He munched happily and talked to the tiny birds that lived there, learning about the different types of trees and their leaves. Lana the lion cub was practicing her roar. With each attempt, she learned more about how lions communicate and why a strong roar is important. By sunset, her roar was just a little bit louder. Zara the zebra was playing a game of stripes and shadows. She learned how her stripes help her blend in and stay safe. It was a fun way to learn about camouflage in the wild. Ollie the ostrich had lost a feather. He searched high and low, learning about the different plants and insects on the savanna floor. Finally, he found his feather, along with a new appreciation for the small wonders of his home. Hannah the hippo was teaching her little brother about the stars. They watched the night sky, learning about constellations and the stories they tell. The savanna night was a perfect classroom. Wally the warthog loved to wallow in the mud. Today he learned that mud not only feels good but also keeps his skin healthy and protects him from insects. It was a messy but important lesson. Fiona the flamingo stood on one leg by the water's edge. She learned about balance and how her body is designed to rest this way. The calm water of the savanna was her peaceful teacher. Timmy the tortoise was on a slow and steady journey. He learned about patience and taking his time to enjoy the little things. The savanna was vast, but Timmy knew every step was an adventure. Penny the pangolin wandered through the savanna her scales shimmering in the sun. She learned about how her scales protect her and the importance of being unique. The savanna was full of lessons on individuality. Cleo the cheetah was the fastest runner in the savanna. She learned about speed and how it helps her in the wild. The wind in her fur was her favorite feeling. Molly the meerkat stood on her hind legs keeping watch. She learned about responsibility and looking out for her family. The savanna was both her home and her duty. Eddie the eagle soared high above the savanna. He learned about the vastness of the sky and the freedom of flight. Below him, the savanna stretched out like a giant living map. Nina the nightingale sang a sweet melody as the sun set. She learned about the power of song and how it brings the savanna to life. Her music was a lullaby to the closing day. Oliver the owl was a wise old bird who loved to teach. He learned about sharing knowledge and the joy of seeing others learn. The savanna was his classroom and the moon was his chalkboard. Daisy the dung beetle rolled her ball of treasure across the savanna. She learned about hard work and the importance of doing her part. The savanna depended on little workers like her. Vicky the vulture circled the skies, her keen eyes searching. She learned about patience and the role she plays in the circle of life. The savanna was a place of balance, and she was part of it. Larry the leopard lounged in a tree, his spots blending with the leaves. He learned about stealth and the art of being unseen. The savanna was a place of many hiding spots. Sally the snake slithered silently through the grass. She learned about the importance of being gentle on the earth and the power of subtlety. The savanna was her quiet playground. Benny the buffalo enjoyed a dust bath under the hot savanna sun. He learned about cooling off and the joy of a good scratch. The savanna was his spa and the dust was his luxury. Rita the rhinoceros was marking her territory. She learned about the importance of boundaries and the safety it brings to her family. 
The savannah was her home, and she was its guardian. Holly the hippopotamus basked in the river, her eyes peeking above the water. She learned about staying cool and the community of river life. The savannah's river was her refuge. Cameron the crocodile lay still in the water, barely a ripple to be seen. He learned about patience and the element of surprise. The savannah's waterways were his domain. Wendy the wildebeest was on the move with her herd. She learned about migration and the strength in numbers. The savannah was a vast highway, and her herd knew every path. Andy the antelope gracefully leaped over the savannah brush. He learned about agility and the keen sense of his surroundings. The savannah was his playground, and he was its acrobat. Henry the hyena laughed with his pack after a successful hunt. He learned about cooperation and the value of teamwork. The savannah was their community, and every member played a part.